Here are five creative habits that I've personally done and found to be quite useful. First of all, why form creative habits? Well, it creates a form of momentum. And the way I do them, it also creates a practical and useful archive of ideas. Anyway, let me explain with the first one. Send yourself emails. I use Gmail and I use the automated labeling features to create an archive of ideas. For example, when I write lyrics, I'll write lyric in the subject line of the email and then the automated features in uh, Gmail will create an archive of just those emails. You'll be surprised how often that you'll write a track and then think, oh, that's, uh, that's that title that I thought of three months ago. It also gets you into the mindset of thinking about that mood or vibe that you want to create. We all know that forming new habits requires that it has a low barrier of effort, but I would add to that that it also should have built-in saving and documentation for future use. This is really where that useful archive is created. And that leads me to the next creative habit. I suspect that pretty much all musicians and producers use some sort of a phone app to record scratch ideas and just quick audio. But I've taken this a little bit further. I use an app called Alon Dictaphone. You don't have to use that one, but I use it because it has one specific feature. Of course, it records in WAV files 48 kilohertz, 16-bit, but usefully, it uploads automatically to pretty much any service that you want, like Dropbox and Google Drive or SoundCloud, YouTube, or send yourself an email with it. This is useful because it automatically creates this archive. I use it to upload directly to my Dropbox, and then that Dropbox folder is available in my Ableton sessions on my laptop or my PC. Really useful. And of course, it doesn't have to be just song ideas or riffs. You could also be recording claps and impulse responses. The world is a sampling playground. Creative habit number three. Overlay your creative habit on another habit that you have. For example, using fun apps on your commute. The important bit here is that it has to be fun apps because uh, the attraction is the key. I'm quite fond of the Koala sampler as well as the Flus plugin by Heinbach. The attraction thing is key because otherwise you'll just doom scroll Instagram, right? At the end of each commute, remember to just export as audio into that Dropbox folder, creating that archive for future use. Creative habit number four, have a time slot schedule. I quite liked the uh, January idea. Now you don't have to do January if that's not your thing, but the idea of having 15 minutes every day at a particular time and spending that only on a creative exercise, that's really useful. Personally, I sit with an acoustic guitar for 50 minutes a day, often after dinner. The fifth creative habit I would recommend is sorting through your personal library. And for me, this was a monthly kind of thing, you know, organizing presets, sample labeling, you know, putting things in folders and that kind of thing. I've kind of fallen out of doing this habit. I used to do it for an hour every last Sunday of the month, and I should really get back into it because it's not just great to organize your library. It's actually a really great way of getting creatively energized by going through your own ideas. And if uh, you have any creative habits, then uh, leave a comment below and yeah, click like and subscribe and you'll see me in the next one. Hey.